Hello, hi, how's it going? Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited. I'm finally filming this video. I've definitely procrastinated <laughs> trying to get like the perfect lighting, the perfect background, like all that stuff. And then I realized like, I'm not going to invest in lighting and background equipment until I know that I'm going to film consistently. Like <laughs> I'm excited now because it's the start of a new project, but let's wait and make sure things are gonna stick before we before we get too crazy. So bear with me, I will do my best to improve the video quality over time, but hopefully this is good enough to now to at least not be annoying when you watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so welcome to Jennifer's Projects. The reason why I called this channel Jennifer's Projects is because I'm always turning whatever goals it is that I'm working on into a project, sort of like a business approach. I like to make it a project and plan it out and, and figure out how I'm gonna get to my goal and it just makes it more fun and more interactive, I guess, if I consider it as a project. So that's why I originally called it Jennifer's Projects. And the project we're working on now is... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Um, the project we're working on now is called Jennifer's Journey to Japan. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, so corny. But anyways, I called it Jennifer's Journey to Japan because I am a Masters synchronized swimmer and I am getting ready for the FINA World Masters Championships that are going to be held in Japan in 2021. That's right, 2021. Uh, yeah, the project, it is, it is uh, a little far off, the end goal, sh should I say, but I'm starting now, I'm starting getting ready now, and my goal is that between now and then, I'll be a completely new and improved swimmer. Uh, you know? Uh, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Why am I filming this for YouTube? Uh because I like to make a project out of things and because I thought it would be fun and I don't know who's gonna watch this. Maybe other master synchronized swimmers and then you will understand the process and enjoying it from that. Maybe some of my friends who just like me and just wanna watch it because of that. <laughs> and then maybe some random people who wanna watch it because it's inspiring to see someone work on their goal. Whether you have the same goal or not, it doesn't really matter because it can still be inspiring to watch someone else work on their goal and then you can sort of work on your goal alongside. So that's, you know, something exciting. And then uh, it's also gonna be a little bit of lifestyle. It's not just gonna be me working towards my goal because I'm a flight attendant, which is a unique lifestyle, a unique job. So that is inevitably going to end up on the channel. And I also sew all my own suits or my costumes as I call them. And so that will be on the channel. And I enjoy cooking and eating. So that will be on the channel as well. So if you're interested in any of those things, stick around, I'd love to have you. Today specifically, what I wanna talk about is how I got into Synchro. So let me give you a brief history. I grew up uh, competitive dancing. I did ballet, jazz, tap, you know, the whole thing. And I absolutely loved it. And it, honestly, if I could still compete at that now, like if they had masters dance competitions in ballet, jazz, and tap, I would do it, okay? But they don't, at least not in Canada. Maybe they do elsewhere, I don't know. But they don't here. <laughs> and so, I need a new outlet and I've always loved swimming and I've always thought synchronized swimming would be fun to do, but the problem is there's not a lot of places slash there's no places that really offer beginner lessons for adults and synchronized swimmers. There's a lot of adult synchronized swimming um, groups, but they are for people that swam when they were children as synchronized swimmers, you know? Um, but I just kept on Google searching and then one day this recreational beginner adult synchronized swimming class came up. 
Uh, and it was in Toronto and I was working in Toronto at the time. So it was awesome. I would just go after work and swim. And as soon as I started, there was two things. One, oh my God, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Like, so hard. And then two, I love this. I want to keep doing this. How can I compete at this one day? Because I knew that all the other masters that competed had swam as children. You know what I mean? So I did two years of recreational and that was fun, cool, but I wanted more. I wanted to compete. I knew I wasn't good enough to compete, but I wanted to. So um, I asked if I might be able to do a solo so that I compete that and then I don't have to be as good as the people on a team. I can just like be at my own little level. And to my surprise, the club said yes. And they were like, sure. Yeah. I was like, really? I honestly thought they were going to say no because they were like, you're, you would be an embarrassment to the club if we let you compete. People would be like, what is this synchro club? Like this girl doesn't know how to swim. You know what I mean? So when they said yes, I was like, oh, anyways. So they said yes. So my coach that had been coaching me for the recreational became my solo coach. And we were really fortunate in that we got to practice four hours a week for the majority of the year, which is unusual for solos. But fate was on my side, honey, and it worked out. So we trained together for four hours a week, as much intensity as we could. And then I land drilled and cross trained a lot on my own. And so for that one magical year, I worked my little butt off and my coach worked her butt off trying to make me look good. And we did it. I had a very viable solo and we went to the Pan Am Games in Orlando and we had an awesome time. It was so good. It was a, it was a milestone year for me, both for St. Girl and in my personal life. So it was a really amazing way to go and celebrate. And yes, I placed last, which was expected. But when I looked at my scores, like they weren't terribly far off from where the other competitors were, especially the ones towards the bottom. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. And then I was wanting more. And then the club put me the next year in a trio a competitive trio with another beginner swimmer and then another swimmer who um, hadn't swam for a while but did swim as a kid. And it was okay, but um, we didn't really, I don't think that we really gelled well as a trio. And on top of that, I was MIA for a lot of it. I had personal stuff going on and I just didn't make it to practice as often as I wanted to. And so I sort of mentally checked out because of that. And then I also felt guilty for letting the team down. And so for me, it wasn't a very good year. Um, still worked on a lot of skills, especially in our summer season that we did. Still worked on a lot of skills and all that, but it just wasn't everything that I wanted. And so for this year, I wanted to get started on a solo again and work towards doing it for Japan. It's very normal for synchro groups to use a two year cycle. So you build your routine in year one and then you um, improve upon it and add difficulty to it in year two. And then you're like really polished and perfected for whatever big competition it is that you're going to. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the two year cycle. This is my first time doing the two year cycle. I'm kind of terrified. I'm going to hate my music and my routine by the end of two years, but I've been assured that is not the case. And so we'll see how that goes. I did pick music that I really like. So hopefully it works out. Yeah. No. Um, so that is what I'm doing this year. And that brings me to now filming Jennifer's journey to Japan. <laughs> I really, really have always wanted to do a YouTube channel and this seemed like the perfect excuse and reason to finally get around to doing it. So here I am filming my first video. I think I should leave this off now because it seems like it's been long enough. I don't know. I'm very low key here, guys. I'm filming on my phone. I'm filming with a window, so the lighting's probably weird. I'm just doing it. I just gotta get it out there, you know? 
So if you're working on a goal, you should do the same thing. Just get started. If there's something you've always wanted to do, just do it. It sounds cliche, but it's true. Life is short and you know, what am I gonna do, wait around forever? I've wanted to do this for so many years and it's just time to get cracking. So here I am filming my first video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see coming up, please comment down below. I would love to read them. And if there's something you've always wanted to do that you're just getting started on, let me know about that too. I would love to hear what projects it is that you're working on. Thank you so, so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon in my next video. Bye. <laughs> First video, damn. Let's hope it filmed and looks good. Because, you know.